It, wow. Today we're talking about The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay by Michael Chabon, and I'm really hoping that I will be able to come up with a more coherent review for this than, oh my god, you guys, this is so good, read it now, put it in your eyeballs. Like, this is probably the best thing I've read this year. It's so good, you guys. So Joseph Cavalier is a young Jewish man living in Prague in 1939, so naturally he has to get the hell out of there because Nazis. And he does manage to escape, but just barely, and he has to leave the entire rest of his family behind in Europe. He makes it all the way to New York and shows up on the doorstep of the Claymans, who are his American relatives. And this is where he first meets his cousin Sam Clayman, who will eventually shorten his name and become the Clay of the title. So Sam very quickly realizes that Joe is an absolutely incredible artist, and so he cooks up this harebrained scheme that they should make comic books. And then that actually works. And then things get really complicated. So this story is about comic books, but I think it works equally well for people who love comic books and people who don't really know that much about comic books. Because A, it is also about so many other things like identity and guilt and how do you react when terrible things happen. Like this is a sweeping historical epic in all capital letters, like it is about a lot of things. And B, because the comic book aspect of this novel is used to talk about stories and why they are awesome, which I think is something that we can all get behind around here. And this is a book that won the Pulitzer and I think that that scares people off sometimes. Like, oh, it's gonna be pretentious and dry and dull. Someone's probably gonna stare at a wheat field at some point and it'll be very metaphorically resonant, but I'm not gonna understand why. And I just want to assure everyone that this book isn't nearly as scary as that. Like, it is absolutely amazing on an intellectual level and I strongly suspect that it's one of those books that if I were to reread it, I would notice tons of things that I missed the first time around. But this book also made me feel all of the feelings. Like it starts out fun and exciting and then it gets dark and then it gets even darker. And I don't even know how to describe the tone of the ending to you because it's really complicated and also spoilers. And then you close the book and you feel like your feelings have just run a marathon. It is intense is what I am saying. It is an emotional roller coaster. Also, the writing in this is completely beautiful. Like Michael Chabon can craft a gorgeous sentence, y'all. So yeah, I recommend the hell out of this. Clearly. I borrowed this for my best friend and now I really need to buy my own copy because I love it and I want to own it. Why am I rubbing my face against it? So if you have also read this, I would love to know what you thought about it down in the comments and I will see you soon. Bye!